Today we're going to be replacing the blade on our skill bandsaw. This is a nine inch model. Uh, what we're going to do to open the port here is we're going to twist this knob and the knob down here to the right. And then it opens right up. And again, for safety purposes, make sure your saw is not even plugged in before you do this. Okay. So as you can see, we now have the portal open or the port. So when you first do this, it's usually a pretty simple process, but it can be intimidating because it looks like you can't even get the blade out of here. Uh, you turn this top knob counterclockwise to loosen the, the spindle here, which takes the pressure off the blade, loosens it up. So it can come right off, but you've got this guard right here in the way and you're like, oh no, how does this come off? What do I unscrew? Nothing. You simply move the guard over like that. And now the blade can come out. Now you can wear gloves when you do this to make it less likely to, to get cut or get hurt. This blade is pretty dull. I was cutting some hardwood oak with it here recently and I just really destroyed the teeth. And then, of course, you got to take this out right here, which you simply can unscrew with your hands. And you don't need to. Uh... There you go. Now make sure to keep that together so you don't lose it. OK, I'm going to put that right there. And then the blade just comes out like this. Very, very simple. OK. Now we're going to lay that off to the side for now. We've got a brand new blade that came with this saw. One of the things I like about this saw is that when I got it, it came with two replacement blades. I haven't done a lot of work with the saw, but I have gone out the blade that came on the saw. So now be very careful when you're uh, releasing this blade or opening the blade, taking the twist ties off because they can go wow. <laughs> And as cool as it sounds, if the teeth, the teeth catch you, they can cut you, and that's not very cool. So be very ginger. Do this very gingerly. And you just let it unwind. Or, you know what I always used to do in the old days? I used to just drop it on the floor. That works too, but that'll get us out of camera range if I do that. So we'll just very gingerly. Do sort of like a reverse figure eight, came right out. Now, remember to make sure the teeth are facing towards you as you put the blade in. Okay, and then you just want to put it right back where the original came from. Make sure you center it on these spindles. And when you have your cover open like this, this is a really good time to dust out all the sawdust and clean your saw really well. I'm not doing it here now because I don't want this video to take longer than it needs to. I just want to show you how to replace it. Now, once you get it on there, you might have to tighten it up a little bit. There we go. And you want to make sure that that blade is perfectly centered on that wheel, on the top and the bottom wheel. Make sure it's even. And then tighten it up. You want to have a little bit of give in it so you don't snap your blade, but you don't want it to be too loose or it can come off during use, which is not a good thing. Okay, now we've got to put this back on. Put that there and then go like this. Simple as that. Remember to close the cover. The blade guard right there, it's closed. Close this and then you will twist these counterclockwise to the left. It's completely closed. I'm gonna get this old blade out of the way here. Test, test this out. So the blade has been replaced. So we're gonna plug this all in now. And just to make sure that it's on there properly, we're going to take a 
beautiful piece of cherry lumber I just made with a chainsaw. I made a bunch of cherry lumber from a down tree. I'm gonna make some turning blanks out of this beautiful wood. And just to make sure the blades put on correctly, we're gonna cut us a piece here. We'll lower the guard. Get it just like this. Yeah, right there. And then tighten the back side. Of course, if you uh, have this saw and you're watching this, find out how to change the blade, you know exactly what I'm doing back here. Always remember your eye pro. Let's see how it does. That's like a champ, nice clean cut. Happy woodworking.